hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we look at how we can download and enable a free vpn on a linux mint and uh, we'll be using open vpn from uh, vpnbook.com we'll need to open the terminal and run a few commands here to install some tools so the first command we need to run is for installing open vpn and the command is going to be sudo apt install say y for yes and then we'll put open vpn in our password okay so it's already installed and it's uh, its newest version next thing is to install it's gonna be the uh, network manager for open vpn so it's network manager open vpn and this also already installed the last command is to install this uh, tool right here just add norm at the end and that's done now that we have those installed we can minimize this we'll need to open a browser and uh, download the open vpn so we'll need to google for free open book and vpn and then we want to go to vpnbook.com so click on this link once we get to this page just scroll down a little bit and under the once you get to this section here where it says free open vpn and uh, pptp vpn click on this tab that says open vpn and these are the different bundles available now you can select whichever one you like from the list one thing to note is that you will we will need this username here vpn book and this password when we go to configure or when we go to enable this uh vpn i'll go with the us one server bundle so just click on it to download it and it should be a quick download so it's already done now i can minimize this browser I'll go to my directories here and it should be on the downloads and this is it right here. I already downloaded another one, this one. Once you have it, what you need to do is you need to extract it since, it's a, since this is a .zip file. So right click on it and click open with archive manager and you should get this new window pop up right here. What you need to do is click on extract. Once you get to this, window just click create a new folder and create your folder where you're going to extract the files to so vpn let's say two okay and then once you have that folder just click down here extract close close and this is the folder that i created and these are the four different files that were extracted into it okay now that we have that those files let's move to the next step so the next step is to go to the network settings. So we'll go to the menu icon right here, and we'll search for network. And we'll go with this right here. Now, once you get to this window, click on network proxy, and then click on the plus sign to add. Here, select import from file, then navigate to that folder where you extracted the files to. So it's in our downloads folder. This is where we place the files, VPN2, so double click on it. Select one of the files, which is the configuration file, and then click open. So once you get to this window, you'll need to input that username and password. So the username was VPN book, and that's from this uh, VPN book website where we downloaded the configuration files. So the username right here is VPN book. The password is uh, DMW. So let's go do that. DMW 3R and let's see cv so the other information here will leave us the default and then we'll click add and that should add that vpn for us which is now right here and right now as you can see it's off one thing we can check before we enable it is we can open the terminal and see if we have a tunnel interface so open the terminal and do ip address and right now we only have two interfaces, loopback zero 
and then ENS33 for our wired connection. So let's go ahead and enable this right here. Now it's connecting. It says that it's connected. VPN connection has been successfully established. Now we'll open the terminal again and we'll do IP address again. As you can see now, we have a tunnel and it's TUN3, tunnel 3. It's got an IP address that it pulled and this is the VPN server, which is our peer. At this point, you can verify that your public IP address is uh, being masked or being hidden from the public. So we can open a browser and there's uh, different sites we can go to. So let's try a website here. Let's say, what is my IP? Let's go with the first link. Okay, that's what's showing my, as my public IP. And this is not my IP, that's the IP of the VPN server. So we are able to mask or hide our public IP. And even the location, that's not my actual location. And that's not my ISP. So that's all for this video. I hope this uh, has been helpful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.